All right, hey, welcome. It is January 20th, and this is our brand new show, Pure Product. Aaron Harris is here in the studio today to talk everything product. Aaron, thanks so much for doing this. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I love being able to launch new products, and we have some of those coming this way. I know, and you know, and we're going to be talking a lot about some of the things that we've been able to launch in January, uh, and kind of that work that's been put into it. And it's it's amazing to see uh, a product that you've been working on for almost a year actually come into fruition. And that's kind of your life, right? You're always kind of like a year ahead of everybody else, and then you're like, oh, please launch, please launch. And when it does, it's kind of like you know, you're seeing your little baby, you know, yeah, walk for the first time. Yeah, that's what I always say. It's like having a baby over and over again throughout the year. <laughs> I don't know that everybody's that anybody pregnant out there going, oh God, that does not sound real fun. But I get to pass them off to others. Yeah. Once, well, once it's born, it's gone. That's going to works. Well, hey, listen, I know that a lot of you have uh, been keeping up. We've been on the road. We've had SSW for the last couple of weeks. And, and this weekend, we just finished up some great cities. You know, we were in Salt Lake. We were in Minneapolis, or, I'm sorry, Milwaukee. We were also in, in the West Coast in Portland and also Modesta. It was just another great week of everybody getting together, everybody really learning about their business, booking parties, and the instructors and trainers were fantastic. I know that you know you get to see and hear some of that while you're yeah, out there. Yeah, I mean, just the testimonials that I've been seeing on, even on Facebook, are just, I mean, women are leaving this weekend, Success Strategy Weekend, feeling completely re-energized yep. and have no clue, like, to go beyond limits for 2020. Well, it's great, because we've been able to see almost 5,000 people at SSW. Take a look at this video. It kind of puts it all kind of in a, in a frame for you, because it has been amazing. Take a look. So I'm going to tell you that I think SSW is the most brilliant way to start your year because not only are you learning from some of the best in the business, but the collective knowledge that is shared in the interactive classes where we're all sharing how we do things and brainstorming how we can improve in the coming year is absolutely invaluable. I absolutely love SSW. I feel like it is a two days of awesome training, the type of training that you would get at a huge national event, like national training, world conference, but it's in a closer location, so much easier to get to, and it's right at the beginning of the year to kick off our super busy season of selling. Every little thing you do, every little move you make matters. Every little thing that you say matters. Everything that you post on Instagram, Facebook matters. Every interaction. You are Beyonce. You are Justin Timberlake. You are Taylor Swift. You are whoever you want to be because every move freaking matters that you do. And when you understand that as a brand, you will be the most powerful person in the room. Promise. I love the excitement that SSW brings to the beginning of the year. We're able to get the best of the information, whether it's sexual health information, whether it's product knowledge, or it is learning how to have those sponsoring conversations. We're getting the year set up for success, but also I love the connection with the team. You know, we get rooms together, we just have a great time bonding, getting away from the kids and the family, and just coming together for camaraderie and being on the same page to row our boats together for the year. energy, the excitement, the way people are so focused on what they want to get accomplished for this year, the clarity that you've seen in rooms, the second to none. That's what we do here at Pure Mans. We're constantly staying in the studio. So Aaron, you can probably tell there was a lot of pumped up people about business for 2020. Yeah, I mean, as are we. Yeah. we. We just ended a week in um, Vegas. How yeah. awesome was that? I know. I mean, that was kind of cool. We had talked about this. You know, uh, you know, as, as our consultants go and they get their education by going to the different events, we ultimately, too, this year planned to go to Las Vegas to the Consumer Electronics Show, which mm -hmm. in, in our mind was really, it didn't have too much to do about who we were as a company, but it just showcased what's happening in the world. And we got to see some really good stuff. I mean, can you give the people that are watching our consultants kind of a, a, an overview of kind of what was at this show and why was it so important for us to be there? For me, the biggest takeaway from the show was how to understand your consumer. Where is the consumer going and mm -hmm. what do we need to deliver to our consumers now? And yes, we may not be in the complete electronic fields, but how can we step up our game in the electronic as well as packaging mm -hmm. and in everything? They had it all there. 
The other thing too we learned a lot about was personalization uh, and, and really personalization and uh, AI. What to really do with data that was out there and how much data will tell us about what our consumers are shopping for, what are they looking for, what are trends that are being uh, put in place. So I thought the show was great. It did showcase the future of what's happening in our world today and I think that is that is so cool. Yeah. You know we got to listen to, to I got to I know I know you went to a bunch of classes just like <laughs> people go to SSW. Uh, I don't know what your favorite one was but one of my Mine was definitely Mark Cuban. Uh, Cuban gets yeah, on and says, there's, there's innovators, there's imitators, and then there's idiots. And we all as a group said, you know what, we're going to stay on the innovation side. And I think that's one of the cool things as we get into 2020 and beyond for the next decade, we're going to continue to keep doing here at Pure Romance. Yeah, and I noticed that even in some of my classes, especially in packaging, like where are we going with our catalog, our different packaging? How are we going to personalize our packaging for our consumers? So it just kind of reinstilled that we're on the right path and we're doing exactly what these other companies are doing without us even yeah. Being, being taught it before. Well, I think one of the cool things is you've even you even researched like where you can actually scan a label and it can tell us a story. And those are things that actually we're looking into. Uh, different ways of being able to be quicker to market. That was the big thing everybody's talking about right now is speed to market, rapid prototyping, coming up with new scents, new flavors, new ideas. Because the consumer's attention span to products is like eight or less seconds today. Yeah. Well, we're going to get faster. As as we all know, it take, generally takes us 18 months to yeah. be confident with a product but we want to ensure still that we have the efficacy of our product we've got um, the quality inside of our product we are going to come to market with things mm -hmm. a little bit faster you just mentioned the labeling I, how amazing would it be for our consultants to provide them a label that their consumer can just scan the label it can read them the directions the ingredients yeah. even a story about pure romance it kind of just brings the consumer more in touch with who we are as a brand yeah. and thus more confidence in us as a brand as well well speaking about confidence in a brand what about us launching CBD you know when you think about this this was something that we had worked on for a very long time with the bath soak with the melt with the lubricant uh, there's more products that are in in the works right now I know that some consultants were able to see some spotlights as they came to SSW which some of that sold out really really quickly but when you start thinking about this this was something that we really wanted to to really dive into we saw a need inside of our sales force uh, you were getting a lot of reports saying that this was something Something that we need to add into the into our lineup. Yeah, and I did exactly what we're doing now. I educated myself on the product and the different raw materials and what is CBD and how can it be beneficial to our consumer to ensure that we provide products that are targeted for our consumer. Well, just don't take our opinion on it. What about Good Morning America talking about what's happening in the world of CBD? Why does it feel like so many media outlets discovered CBD in the past year? Media, including Consumer Reports, descended upon the CBD space within the last year. And there's a very good reason for it, because CBD starts showing up everywhere. It starts showing up in coffee bars and brownies and candy and things. CBD is a compound found in cannabis plants, including hemp, and marijuana plants. CBD is like a, a scatter shot. It's, there's a whole bunch of different systems that it's influencing, one of which is the endocannabinoid system, but lots of others as well. So this is why you see something that works for anxiety, potentially for pain, potentially for pediatric seizures, right? A wide host of things because there's a wide number of different mechanisms that it hits. The scientific research has lagged, particularly in the area of CBD. Most of the research that's been done has been on THC, which is delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, and that is the primary psychoactive molecule in the plant that's responsible for feeling high. More recently, probably past five to 10 years, has there been focused on CBD, or cannabidiol. That's kind of the second most abundant molecule in the plant. And it really came out of, you know, grassroots, if you will, of people trying it out um, on the ground in Colorado, in other countries, in England, um, trying it out and sh seeing that it actually helped with pediatric epilepsy, which was kind of where it got in its initial buzz. Now to our new series, Prescription Free Pain Relief. One in five Americans suffer from chronic pain. Many are now using CBD for relief. Google reports six and a half million searches for information in just one month. And Becky Worley visited a CBD dispensary to take a closer look. Melissa McCarthy reportedly uses it on her feet. Gronk says it's changed his life. For the first time in more than a decade, I am pain-free. 
CBD lotions you rub on your skin to reduce pain. The idea is that by rubbing it on, it's absorbed through the skin, and it could impact joint or muscle pain. Just ask athlete Ali Stoddard. I played rugby for 15 years. I play soccer now. I got a lot of pain. Allie, a cannabis health and wellness consultant, says she prefers CBD, the non-psychoactive part of the cannabis plant, to over-the-counter painkillers. I wait a couple of minutes and literally it just kind of eases away. Good thing to remember right there. Thank you, Becky. Dr. Jen Ashton is here for more. We're going to do viewer questions oh, awesome. today. And the first one comes from Audria from New Jersey. Let's take a look. Hi, Dr. Ashton. I've heard a lot of people using CBD oil for things like stress, anxiety, muscle soreness, but I'm wondering, how does it actually work? Could they be making it up? Thanks. Great that, question. That is the great question. And right now, it's really about what we know and what we don't know. The bulk of the pain literature in peer-reviewed data comes out of Israel and Canada, but everyone is researching this. And I think it's based on this understanding, George, of this endocannabinoid system. And if you look at the wall, we have at least two receptors that are called cannabinoid receptors. One heavily con concentrated in the brain, that's related to the perception of pain. CB2 receptors located all over the body. And the confusion here with respect to pain is that THC, which is the psychoactive component of cannabis, yes, it fits into that CB1 receptor, but ca CBD also fits in, does not give you a psychoactive effect. That is really important, but it, they, there is data that it can help. And that's why you see a lot of the products that say no THC. Exactly. All right, Aaron, you know, coming out of that GMA package, you know, you really think, I mean, you did your homework, you really worked on finding out what it was. We did our research and also stayed on top of, of a trend that's happening, but I don't see this being a fad. I see this being something that's gonna be here for a long period of time. Absolutely, um, it's, been, it's been on the uprise. It's, I think the key for our consultants is to educate on the product, yeah. not just a fluff demo. This yeah. is more serious than um, just a flavored warming lubricant. Yeah. This is CBD. It's the highest quality CBD in our products, and that's what's important. We yeah. want to make sure that, again, the confidence in our brand, you have to be able to provide that information. Well, I know one of the products that everybody is, is talking about right now is definitely this massage melt. I mean, this is not just from the, the flavor, the scent, everything else like mm -hmm. that, but just what Tell us a little bit about the massage melt. Why is this going to be so important to our lineup um, inside of Pure Romance? So a couple things about the massage melt is it's again it's solid. Yeah. So it melts to your body temperature. You can you don't use too much. It doesn't pour on. So if you're doing a demo, it won't it won't just spill out on your consumer yeah. if you're at a party. The other key thing is it's a topical item for us. So we didn't go large with our topical collection just yet. So in addition to massage, it can also be used for. Um, topical management of any like soreness and that type of thing so it has many different faucets to the product stuff. itself yeah and, and you know what also too is this is something like if you got a lot of sore backs teaming up with a heart massager or something mm -hmm. like that is also great but don't take our word for it take a look at some of these demos that really describe how great this product really is and how you can put it into your parties oh my goodness. You are going to love our new CBD. CBD Body Soak. This is our body soak. I love taking a bath. I'm a bathtub kind of girl. And now to have a product that can actually help to alleviate maybe some pain that I have, how wonderful is that? This is Epsom salts scented with lavender and chamomile. It is infused with lavender and chamomile, which can help you soak away a stressful day. Which helps soothe sore, tense muscles. It relieves the stress from the day. This right here has a little scoop inside the bag, and you'll take three to four scoops and put it into your warm bath water. CBD body silk equals relaxation. Ladies, let me introduce you to our new water-based lubricant. It is out of our Healy line, Healthy Living with CBD. Introducing our new Healy water-based lubricant. This product is pH balanced to mimic your body's natural lubrication, and it can increase pleasure and sensitivity while decreasing discomfort associated with sex. It also is infused with CBD. How many times are we at parties and we hear a woman who says, that it's actually uncomfortable, it hurts for her to have intercourse. 
This product is what we can offer her. If you're a person who needs a great lubricant with a re-wetting property, and you want a little extra effect of what CBD could do for you, you want to give our new water-based lubricant a try. It is safe to use with your partner or your bedroom toys. This is your new Healy water-based lubricant. This is our new Healy Massage Melt featuring CBD in broad spectrum. This is a unique massage formula that starts as a gel and melts into a massage oil. This is a really cool product that starts out as a gel and transforms into a massage oil on the skin. It's infused with CBD. This product here is going to be such a big seller for us. You can use it for a sensual massage with our Hot Heart Massager or with our In Good Hands gloves. You can also use it by itself to help melt away tension, aches, pains, and help with relaxation. It is a relaxing lavender and chamomile scent, and it is fantastic. You have a pop top here, and the gel simply melts onto your fingertips and you're ready for an all over body massage. So it's going to melt away stress while heating up your night. This is your new CBD melt. It's so great now to be able to see some of the demos with the product launches and really be able to see how you incorporate this into the party. Yeah, can we launch something else now? Um, uh, Erin, I know, yes, but you're gonna have to wait. Yes, we got some launches that we'll talk about, and we also got something that's gonna also be launching, which is a brand new kit special that's gonna take place on the 22nd, right? So stay tuned, we're gonna go through that. But right now, more than anything, there are a lot of people that are lost in this world. <laughs> Have they found themselves yet? I think they're lost when it comes to finding the actual, really the, one of the best places in the world. Please say their G-spot. <laughs> That's right, if you haven't seen this thing, man, I'm telling you right now, when you start sitting back and thinking about GPS, our brand new G-spot cream, this has been something that has just blown up. I can't believe how quickly that this is selling and moving off the shelf. I don't know if that has anything to do with this unbelievable spot that we created here at Puromance, but if you haven't seen it, take a look. Hey, yeah, I'm leaving work now. I'm on my way home. It's probably traffic, so I'll be a little while. I'll get home as soon as I can. Okay, love you too, bye. Hey Siri, what's the quickest way home? Finding the fastest route home. You will arrive at your destination in 30 minutes or less. Proceed on West 5th Street for two miles. Heavy traffic reported on Central Parkway. Let's go! Road rage won't get you home any faster. Turn left on Washington Avenue. Turn right on State Street. Park your car. Enter front door and proceed up the stairway. Hurry up. You are almost at your destination. Proceed through the hallway, then enter the bedroom. You have arrived at your destination. Your pathway to bliss starts with GPS. This G-Spot cream infuses a triple blend of ingredients with intimacy boosting ginseng and tingling spearmint to make this sensitive spot easier to find and ease. GPS G-Spot cream by Pure Romance. Get where you want to go, in the bedroom and beyond. Let's go. Oh yeah, the okay, G-Spot, they're, they're like, they're like, it's here. The bladder it's, it's here. here. Oh, yeah. They weren't even close. I was pushing on her off. bladder. Okay, right? well, you guys are doctors. Guys, you let's better see. get it together here. Let's see Pay attention, guys. guys. Let's this see is if very you guys important. Can get this. Okay, I'm even going to help you a little bit first. Okay. Bladder, uterus, vagina, rectum. Okay? All right. Take All right. Notes. Taking notes. All right, so the A spot is that stands for the anterior fornix, which okay. is above right here. You have two fornix in the vagina. One is below the cervix and one is above. So they're saying you go all the way in here before yeah. you get that's up to long, the A That's a spot. long so way up there. there. That's, let's do the easier one. The G spot, G -spot. which spot. stands for Grafenberg spot. And Grafenberg. Dr. Grafenberg. It's, um, like you know. No, it's, <laughs> it's like anterior wall of the vagina, yeah. right? Somewhere Good job. In there. Let's give it up for yeah. Dr. Ginger. Two inches. 
um, into the anterior vagina. So Jim was right. And then the U spot is really just um, two spots around the urethra. Again, if you think of somebody pushing up or around your urethra, it's really going to be stimulating your clitoris, and that's going to be right around here. And it's really the skein's gland, so it's going to be right around the side of the urethra. So it's going to be in the front of. It's so can I say something? Is that outside to, the vagina? It's closer. No, it's closer to the front of the vagina, like right Just under the pubic bone. But seriously, guys, communication most important thing. Because how unfair to assume that some of these things are going to feel good for everybody. Right. And quite honestly, exactly. like that's we have point. to communicate yeah. about. That's 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 everyone is going to feel this is Dr. Madeline Castellanos, the sex MD. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the G-spot. And I get a lot of questions about it because people want to find it. They want to know what's up with the G-spot. What can it do for them? And what I like to explain to people is that the G-spot is not actually like some discrete anatomical part. It's more like an area that is around other parts that is why it can be so intense to find the G-spot and learn how to stimulate the G-spot. So the G-spot itself is an area on the top part of the vagina, just a little bit inside of the pelvic floor muscles. And it's, some people will find that it's a little bit more flat in uh, the way it feels compared to some of the ridges on the inside of the vagina. And that area, the G-spot, happens to be right next to a bunch of erectile tissue from the clitoral vaginal urethral complex, right, which is what we know is the whole network of erectile tissue internally. And so when someone gets stimulation on the G-spot, what they're doing is actually pressing against the erectile tissue that's surrounding the urethra and the back part of that clitoral complex. So it can be very pleasurable Similar to the way a guy can get pleasure is if he has an erection and he squeezes that, that, it, that extra pressure. That extra pressure on the G-spot also pushes blood up into the glands clitoris, which is where all of the nerve endings are, and so it makes stimulating that also pleasurable. But there's a whole bunch of nerve endings around the area of the G-spot where you're getting that stimulation. So the G-spot in itself is not an actual anatomical structure, but it's an area that is adjacent to, right next to, a very sensitive part of erectile tissue. And so stimulating it can be very pleasurable for a woman when she's aroused. Now, if a woman gets stimulation of the G-spot too intensely when she's not aroused, because it is right next to the urethra, she can get this feeling like she has to urinate. And so usually, to build up with that stimulation is a great idea and not go too intense too quickly. The best way to stimulate that is to have something that has a curved angle so that you can actually insert that in the vagina and then just kind of have it uh, push up to the anterior part and uh, stimulate the G-spot that way. If a partner were to stimulate the G-spot, they would most effectively do that by using a couple of fingers, putting it right on the inside, just past the pelvic floor muscles, and then having a little bit of this come hither type of motion, or kind of pressure this way. And let then the, the woman guide you based on how she's feeling, whether you need to go a little deeper, uh, have a little bit more pressure, have a little less pressure. Right. So the G-spot in and of itself is not an actual anatomical structure, but it's an area adjacent to some very, very uh, rich network of nerve endings and erectile tissue that when a woman is aroused can create a significant amount of pleasure for her. So I hope this has been helpful for you as far as understanding the G-spot and how to stimulate it better. Thank you. This is Dr. Madeline Castellanos, the sex MD. Thank you, Dr. Castellanos. We really appreciate you being able to share all of your advice and all your wisdom with us. We really appreciate that. And if you haven't got that demo of GPS, you can find that on our brand pages, on our YouTube page. Go there, download that, share that with your customers. It's amazing to see how that product has moved, isn't it, Erin? Yeah. We were prepared because we had so much forewarning. We were absolutely prepared for the product. So we love that you guys love it. Well, I know one thing you're prepared to do is you want to launch something right now, don't you? Yes, I do, because so, everyone's asking me where they are. Oh, is that the, is that, what are we going to launch? What do you want to launch? Tell me. 
Can I just launch some maybe Valentine's lingerie pieces? I think we can launch. Do you guys want Valentine's Day lingerie pieces? I, I, I want to know. Are they saying anything on the chat? If they're not saying anything on the chat, I don't think we can actually release it. Come what on, do you guys. Think? Spit it out. Okay, so I, all right. All right, so here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead. Let's launch these Valentine's Day pieces. Let's tell them a little bit what, what they should expect because I have on Skype right now, Suzanne's getting ready to interview Connie Moritz, which is talking all about how well she does with lingerie, and she is a superstar when it comes to selling lingerie. So let's talk yes. about what it is for Valentine's Day. All right, so we have our lace plunge teddy with pearls, Chris. So we haven't had a pearl piece in a very long mm -hmm. time. It's an awesome product. Um, it even has pearls along the crotch, so it's going to provide some stimulation. Mm -hmm. and it's a value of $49 on sale for 39 bucks. Whoa. Available I one size only, limited quantity, so get it while you still can. Okay, so now let me ask you guys a question, and, and this is me just trying to understand. One size, that what, what does that mean? Does that mean? One size fits most. Okay. So I don't, I don't know, I guess it would be like a, a smaller to uh, large, okay. extra large probably okay. could fit in a one size. Okay. I always ask those questions because I always know that, you know, we're always trying to make sure that we're looking at pieces and things like that. So that's that's amazing. Okay. So what else do we have? We have that piece and then what else do we have? We also have our ruby red lace bodysuit. So it has this really cute choker piece and lace as well. Um, zips up the back. So this piece has a $69 value and it's on sale for $49. I like values. Red lace. It comes in small through 3x 4x in this piece so we made sure to cover everyone for sure and you know and red is it is a color of valentine's day it's the color of love it is the color of love well you know i think anymore and love is changing it's pink and it, it could be blue yeah. it could be whatever you know whatever you yeah. deem as love if you're living and dressing your truth i don't think it really matters anymore you can look like love all the time yeah well it's the color of red roses valentine red. most popular flower for valentine's day red rose all right yeah. so what's the last do we have one more piece and last is our strappy sheer baby doll so this is just, I mean, this could be Valentine's, this could be every day. Again, $49 value on sale for $39. This piece comes in one size and one size queen. So again, all sizes covered here. I love it. Well, you know who else loves it? I know Connie Moritz loves it. So we're gonna throw it to Suzanne to talk a little bit about what is Connie doing when it comes to selling lingerie. Ladies, we're super excited. We're going all the way to Missouri to one of our top lingerie sales consultants. Connie, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we have three new lingerie pieces. Are your customers going to be excited? Uh, absolutely. Because the reason why they're going to be excited is because I'm super excited and my excitement portrays out to them and they're going to, it's going to be rocking. I am so super excited to add new pieces to my rack. So last year you sold about 15000 in lingerie, so that's at least $1,000 a month if you break it up. Tell us, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Um, one, I create the need for that because I feel like everybody does need lingerie. It makes you feel sexy, it empowers you, and of course that's one of our mottos for our company is empowering women. Um, but letting them know that it is, it actually has a purpose into the bedroom um, and, but most importantly, a purpose for them because it makes them feel confident within themselves. And if you find the right piece of lingerie, it is, you're totally unstoppable. So finding the one that gives you the right support and maybe in your breasts or maybe even hide some of the areas that maybe you might be um, conscious about, there is a piece of lingerie literally for everyone. Um, so, and then I show them all the, the pieces of lingerie. Um, I make it a need. So whenever I come in, um, the very beginning of the party, basically that's where I start my lingerie. So that's how, where I'm connecting with the girls, um, especially if I know that they are lingerie lovers. Um, then I really go at it. They already start trying on the lingerie, showing out, showing it in front of everybody before the party even starts. Oh. Um, kind of like already doing the foreplay before the party even starts because they're already feeling good about themselves. They're coming out and the girls are like, oh my God, that looks so good on you. So it already sets a mood of the party from the very, very get go. Um, and base, and then um, with my special, I tell them that girls, you guys already get a discount on your lingerie. So, and they didn't even know because they tried it out, tried it on and came out and showed us, um, everybody that they already get a discount on their lingerie for doing so. So what's the discount usually if you try it on? So um, for me, mine is always, you don't necessarily have to discount everything and you don't have to discount high. 
if they want it, they're going to buy it. Just like our Louis Vuittons, right? So they want Louis, they're going to pay full price for it. You don't have to discount it. So mine is you come out and show us in the lingerie. It doesn't have to be the piece that you showed us, but you get 5% off of your lingerie if you try on any piece. Um, if they get two pieces, they get 5% off of both pieces of lingerie, plus they get a free lingerie hanger. And all that is is a twilight hanger that comes with it. So, Perfect. and then if they get three or more pieces, they get the lingerie hanger and they get 15% off when they get three or more. So I love how you're doing it to start the excitement at the beginning of the party. Do you bring in your rack like it is behind you and you set it up for them? Absolutely. Absolutely. So they're kind of shopping the rack as before even your demo begins. Correct. Yep. So when you get in the shopping room, if they have not chosen a piece of lingerie, do you bring it up? I do. I say, oh my gosh, you look really good. Always try to remember as a consultant, um, you need to try to remember what was said at the party. Or if they're like, oh my God, that feels so good. And then you don't see, or say if you do the heartthrob, I'm like, oh my God, that feels so good. And they didn't order the heartthrob or circle it on their wish list. Always try to take mental note of things like that because then it shows that you're paying attention to them because um, we're not there just for the sale. You are literally connecting with them um, and really trying to, and they're like, oh my God, you remember? And I'm like, yeah, girl. Like you were yelling it to the world, like how amazing this would be for your cramps um, and things like that. So on the lingerie, I'm like, girl, you look so good on that peep show. Like, what do you think about that peep show? Like you totally rocked it. Your breasts looked amazing. Like it fit perfectly on your figure. And she's like, you know, I kind of thought so, but, and then I just kind of sit there and then she eventually talks herself into it. I, I agree. I probably would have talked myself into it if you told me I looked great and you found a piece that that's good for your body. And that's really important as well is making them feel it adds to the confidence. It starts yeah. the whole, it's all about being confident. Okay. So last question. We have okay. these three new pieces. How are you going to, are you going to individually text any of your customers that you know lingerie, love lingerie, or what are you going to do to kind of get this word out? I am going to go live in my, uh, in my VIP group for okay. sure. Um, cause they all know that I love lingerie. So, and I'm just going to like shout out to the rooftops. Um, I will probably actually go live in my Facebook page as well because I already have that set for 18 and older. Um, and then on my fa personal Facebook, I'll, say, I'll post something about lingerie and then go into the group to see the lingerie pieces. So I am, um, and then of course Media Center, absolutely of course. Um, and then because in the Media Center we can see who purchased lingerie in the past and then send them a personal um, email by doing that as well. So. Well, Connie, thank you for these amazing tips. Ladies, buy the lingerie, bring them to your party, start your parties with them like Connie. I mean, she sold 15,000 in lingerie last year. And what's more important is she has lots of happy customers. So Connie, thank you very much. You're welcome, thanks for having me. Thank you. All right, hey, you can tell we're in full swing with lingerie sales, bundles going on, and much, much more here, Erin. Yeah. yeah, we got more stuff to probably talk about on February 1st. I think I'm going to get launched some specials, all kinds of stuff. I can't wait. Yeah, you're just pushing it, pushing us to the limit, Chris. I love pushing it. You know, Aaron has been, Aaron and I are like, like the two longest employees here. I think, Aaron, how many years you've been here now? 19. 19. I'm going on 20. I mean, that is crazy. But what's even more crazy is we love to welcome new people in the business, don't we? That's the best thing. That's what that's what drives us. Outside of product, it's the new people. I love seeing new people, and that's one of the best things is giving somebody an opportunity. And you know what? January 22nd through the 31st, we are going to have a brand new opportunity uh, offer, which is going to be awesome. So you can get in the business up to 70% off of all the kits, which is $139, or I'm sorry, $159 to get in. That's an intro pricing. We also have $319 uh, for the deluxe and $479 for the premium. And here's all of the other countries that you can get this kit special because what we want to do is we know we're going into the busy season so there's gonna be a lot of people looking for parties a lot of people looking for extra income I mean you know this class of new consultant coming mm -hmm. in is like one of the top performing classes that we have all year so now is the time to get in it is time to get in and it's also time to get your registration in. if you want to come to world conference get that learn on we just got done with SSW you got one week left get to world conference in Cincinnati it's always fun to see how all of these unbelievable business owners walking across stage get recognized for an unbelievable job. Take a look.
why is your inspiration, your flame, your reason to stay a student and continually educate and empower others. Your why provides a better life for you and your family. And at the end of the day, your why means that pure romance will live on for another 25 years. We have figured out why we are here for 25 years. What propels us each and every day? What propels you? And what will continue to propel us as a company, as family, and that's energy. Now we're at the fun part. Consultants always are asking questions and we have the expert on all things product, Erin, thank you. Thanks. So we have some questions. Ladies, thank you for writing them in on Destination Success. So Erin, first question from Sherry Sanford. What is the benefit of CBD in Just Like Me? So interestingly enough, I think it was Jen Kelly made a post on Facebook recently when someone asked her that question and I thought it was great the way she said it and mm -hmm. she said, um, CBD in a lubricant is like a topical Tylenol. So if you think about women oh. that have menopause or whatnot, you apply this, it may help alleviate some of that discomfort as well as just like ease your body to uh, accept pleasure. A lot of women have a hard time accepting pleasure, especially if there's pain. And that's, those are a couple key features of CBD lubricant. Awesome. I like that, the Tylenol. Okay. All right. So these, these kind of questions are similar and I know you've gotten these a lot. This is from Tiffany Mate. So, how do you talk about CBD in regards to there being a chance that a user might fail a drug test? And also, our CBD products have a certificate showing they're 100% THC free. Why do we have a disclaimer saying that you could fail the drug test? So can you kind of clarify this for us? Yeah, I mean, it's really our responsibility as right. a company. We have the back of 30,000 consultants out there at any given time. So we we have to cover all bases. It's a liability issue. Yes, we provide you the certification, but we need to ensure that you would not be responsible if someone fails a drug test. Right. Okay. How do, now moving to shapewear. I mean, everyone loves the shapewear. I love the shapewear. Mm -hmm. So does the shape, how does it fit? Does it run small? This question is from Rachel Irwin. So um, it seems to me, from what I'm hearing and all the posts on Facebook and whatnot, it runs true to size. What I have noticed and a lot of people have commented on is the fact if you have a longer torso mm -hmm. or a shorter to torso, the bodysuit may not fit appropriately. That's with everything. Exactly. That, yeah. That's with any bodysuit. So if you're accustomed to a bodysuit, that's just something to keep in mind. And the snaps in the crotch area, they're not comfortable. But if you're not wearing it all day, it's meant to come off quickly. So I love it. Okay, this is from Lily Evans. I've heard other consultants say whips can be used for anal play and anal sex. I have never seen this advertised by corporate. Will you clarify, Erin? Yeah, so corporately, we always want to ensure that um, our consumer is getting the best possible experience out of their anal play. And that being said, uh, a silicone lubricant would give them that. We do, however, recommend that the consumer can use whatever lubricant they want. It's personal preference. So okay. if they're more experienced with anal play, they may not need something like a silicone lubricant. It may minimize their pleasure that they get from anal, anal play. And um, in addition, WIP does have a small fraction amount of silicone in it. So uh -huh. um, that's what gives WIP a little bit of glide. But um, again, it's just personal preference. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, a couple more questions. Can you compare Just Like Me and the Healy Lubricant? This is from Amy Bergener Zeiler. Okay, so yeah, um, of all course, of- Of course I can. Yeah, I know. No, they're very, very similar lubricants. There is a difference in them. Um, the CBD lubricant, the Healy Lubricant, has a, an ingredient called polysorbate 20, and it's just used as a thickener. When you, mm -hmm. um, in, when you, add in other ingredients like the CBD, it may interact with the, um, with the ingredients that are already in there. So just like me itself, 
some of the ingredients are just in a little bit of different order, but in, to ensure the feel and the efficacy of the product, they did add one additional ingredient just for a thickener. Okay, awesome. Okay, for this one, Jack, can you please hand me the Body Boost and the Euphoria Firming Cream? Um, Don Kelly wants to know, what's the difference between Body Boost and the Euphoria Firming Cream? Um, so, you know, the difference is a marketing play. It's just packaging. The exact same formula, exact same flavor. Oh, this one, sorry, I thought we were talking about the whip. Same thing for the whipped and the creme lubricant okay. with the flavor. But so it's the all firming about the cream, packaging. it's just the packaging. It's what, if you have a certain clientele, you go into their party, it's which one are they going to um, gravitate towards more. So, yeah, it's completely a packaging play. And this has been done in the oh. industry for beyond all 100%. of our years. Um, it's just something, you know, we've actually taken a liking to and our co consumers have too. Yeah, the formula is the same, but I always go for the higher end packaging. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It's a fabulous gift. Yeah. Anything else that you would like to add? No. I think Thank you for I, I'm so excited questions. to be here. I love it. And I love to get the proper information out there and, and kind of squash any questions. Aaron, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, thanks for having me. All right, back to you, Chris. All right, hey, thanks so much, uh, Suzanne. Thanks so much, Aaron, for answering those questions. Hey, don't forget the 27th, we'll have another Live Love Win we're coming back to, and February 3rd, hugely important. That's where we're going to go over the March focus. You don't want to miss that. I'm going to tell you right now, so many things are happening. What are you going to be talking about in the shopping room in February to get your hostesses to want to book with you for the month of March, and so on and so forth? I'm going to tell you. It's time to get lucky with Pure Romance. That's what I'm, I'm not maybe leaking a little bit too much information, but you never know. Well, it'll be fun. Here's the last and final thing is this, HIT. High intensity tactics for growth. We're trying to bring you some of the best content possible when it comes to going out there and really building a business. You know, being able to share those ideas and those things that have helped us as a, as a business grow from a million to 200 plus million dollars. How to go out there and network, how to make sure that you're out there doing the right things from a marketing perspective, a sales perspective. That's what's happening inside of HIT. I'm telling you, if you're listening and you want some really good brain food and you're listening to podcasts, and you're saying, what should I be listening to? What should I be, you know, putting in my mind every day? Go download HIT. Make sure it's coming to you on a weekly basis. I promise you, you're gonna get some unbelievable tips, some awesome things to help you normalize some of the things that you're thinking of. I'm going from one CEO to the next, and I'm gonna make sure that you're joining us every week as we go through HIT. I'm telling you, the people that are doing this and the people that are getting on Rise and Grind every morning at nine o'clock, we're seeing massive improvements with their business. And more than anything, our tribe continuously keeps getting bigger. Thanks so much for tuning in to our product special that we had, Pure Product here at Pure Romance. And we can't wait to see everybody on January 27th. Have a great night.